Well, hey everybody, it's Pastor Andrew here from New Hope UMC in Gainesville, Georgia. Just jumping on with our midweek update to let you know everything happening here at New Hope. And we've got a lot of exciting stuff to share with you. So first of all, we've had a great time with our series, I Love My Church. Sunday was another awesome day, especially after the 11 a.m. service when we got to head down to Lake Lanier and baptize a beautiful Miss Lydia Grace and Adam Cruz and celebrate their faith in Jesus Christ and celebrate um, their joining in this body of Christ to be their church family that will support them and love them and grow their faith together. So we're looking forward to the final two messages in the series. This Sunday, we've got week five, the next week, week six, and we are done. So we're talking about how we really put these things into action. So Sunday's message is about service. How do we serve one another? How do we honor and love one another through our service, how we serve one another? So I hope you'll be here with us, whether that's at 9 a.m. for contemporary or 11 a.m. traditional, whether you join us in person or join us on live for our live streaming. It's been a great series. I'm looking forward to finishing up with these last two messages as we really start to bring everything we've been talking about together and talk about how we really practically put it to practice out in our day-to-day -day lives. So there's so much happening at the church with it being uh, fall and with so many things kind of gearing up. And I'm, I'm excited about this season. It's always a season of growth. It's always a season where we see lots of new folks in worship. And as we've seen, we had new members. I mean, it's just been so exciting in the last few weeks. We've had two new members, two new folks uh, joined by profession of faith and baptism. So that's just fantastic. But I wanna let you know about all these other things besides just Sunday morning worship. Um, I started about six weeks ago teaching a Wednesday night pastor study that meets right behind me in our sanctuary at six o'clock on Wednesday nights. It's an hour from six to seven. There's no homework, no prep work. You just come and get plugged in. We started with Bob Goff's book, um, Love Does, talking about kind of with that whole idea of love one another that we're talking about on Sunday mornings, uh, getting a little deeper in that. And we're starting tonight a second book by Bob, Bob Gall. So it's a great time to kind of jump in if you uh, weren't with us the first few weeks. And this book is called Everybody Always. How do we take that idea of loving like God and love everybody all the time? And one of the things we're gonna do in this study that I really like is we're gonna talk about how do we love those people that are hard to love? How do we love when we're the people that are hard to love. So I hope you'll join us. Six o'clock, like I said, it's an hour. You don't have to read this book. You don't have to do any work to be here. Just come join us. Even if you can only come one or two weeks, you'll be blessed by it. We had a great time, had a great group for the first five weeks, and I know we'll have a great group as we move into this. Also, we've got some things. Um, right when you come into the lobby, a, a table I want you to notice, there are sign-up sheets right here for fall festival first of all hopefully you're coming and bringing that candy every time you walk in the door bring another bag of candy drop it in the buckets we need thousands and thousands of pieces of candy to give out on the 30th at the fall festival what we also need is volunteers and we need people to have decorated trunks for trunk or treat so make sure you sign up bring your car have it decorated um, find a place you can sign up to volunteer and help out before, during, or after the event, and make sure you're bringing in that candy. This has historically, over the last couple of years, been one of the biggest events we do during the year. One of the best ways to connect with our community. I'm excited about what Katie and, our, and Stephanie, our Next Generation team, is doing with this event this year and bringing in other community partners. We're going to have... Um, a group here doing the chips identification cards for parents. We're going to have concessions. We're going to have inflatables. We're going to have other community partners coming and bringing cars out as well. So get signed up, get plugged in. It's a do not miss event. Now also talking about getting out in the community, we want to be more uh, recognizable. So we've also got new stickers and magnets for your car. Somebody asked me how much they cost. They don't cost anything. You're taking and, and, and you're advertising the church and sharing the church with others. So grab a magnet, um, or if you're like me and the magnet won't stick on your car, grab a sticker, grab those. They're always gonna be out here. Um, also, don't forget, big, huge thing. This Friday night, just two nights away, 7 p.m., we're all meeting at East Forsyth High School for the homecoming football game. Now, we got a big surprise that a lot of our church members, especially 
Beth Ann and our team with our uh, Faith Angels Crochet and Sew Ministry have been preparing to give out completely free of charge, just given with love during the football game. But we don't want to say it because there might be some East Forsyth folks that are uh, watching this, but I want y'all to be watching for us Friday night because we got a huge blessing for you. But everybody else, throw on those Hope shirts. We got them here. If you need to pick one up at the church office, we got them anytime uh, the church is open. Come grab one and uh, be at the game at seven. Look for the other folks in the Hope shirts. Be there. We're going to celebrate and love on our East Forsyth School. It's their first homecoming where they'll elect homecoming queen and king. So it's a big year for their first senior class. So I hope you'll be there. Like I said, join us at the game. Look for us at the home stadium or the home side of the stadium at 7 p.m. Kickoffs at 7.30. We'll launch our big love gift thing a little before halftime. And so uh, don't miss that. You will be so thankful you were there. So lots of exciting stuff. Fall festival is coming up. We got the game coming up this Friday night. We've got new pastor study night. We got disciple Bible study meeting tonight. We got youth and kids club meeting tonight. We've got choir practice tonight. Lots of stuff going on. There's certainly a place for everybody to get plugged in beyond just Sunday morning right here at New Hope. So I hope you'll find that place for you where you can be plugged in, where you can grow as a disciple, where you can grow in fellowship with others, and where you can find your place to serve. If you need help with any of that, I'm available anytime. Reach out. Um, I'd love to sit down, grab a cup of coffee with you, and talk to you about how you, can, how you can be fully plugged in here at New Hope. I hope we'll see you on Friday at the football game. Hope I'll see you tonight at Pastor's Bible Study or at Kids Club or at Youth Group. If you can't make any of those, make sure you're in worship for week five of I Love My Church at 9 a.m. Contemporary or 11 a.m. Traditional right here at New Hope UMC in Gainesville, Georgia.